Hey, guys. All right. Um, so we're going to talk, okay? Um, when you watch this video, first of all, don't come from my hair. It's Monday. It's raining. It's just... So um, we're just going to talk before I even... So first things first. When someone makes a mistake, um, and when someone, you know, knows that they are wrong, when they know that they're wrong, um, it shouldn't be an issue owning up to it. And that's what I did. I have to keep myself accountable in this life because it helps me grow as a person, as a follower of Jesus. It helps me grow um, to keep Chelsea accountable. I can't keep other people accountable for their actions I can't speak on other things but when I know I'm wrong in a certain area I apologize and I ask for forgiveness in that area because in that moment it helps me look at me and then in the, in the same breath the Lord is showing me that I still need to work on this area you know so that is the first thing I can only hold me accountable that's it um that's all I can do in this life because I'm responsible for me. The second thing, um, I love my sister, okay? I love my sister. She's mine. She's mine. And I know I've seen all the comments. I've, I've, I read, I try to read everything, but I can't because sometimes it's, it's just so many. But I love her. I still honor her. I respect her. I still support her. I've been there before any of this, even her boyfriend. I've been there before anything. Me and my mom, we've been there before <laughs> you two, before we were there. Not like saying like, you know, but family, realistically, we were there, literally. I love her. I honor her and I respect her. I'm not going to feed into the discord and people trying to divide because that is what the enemy wants. He wants to sow seeds of sabotage and discord and division and how can we empower one another when we're separated. I'm not allowing the enemy to separate me from my sister. I'm going to give, um, I'm still going to love her and I don't want you guys to be bullying her. If you don't, if you don't want to support her, you don't have to. But the ones who were there and who really, really love her for who she is, you know who you are. Um, there was a song and it talks, it's a gospel song <clears throat> and it talks about perception. And it says, one may see a storm, another may just see rain. And I'm like, yo, that that's really, that was me. Like the why I did what I did because I saw one thing, but it wasn't that. You get what I mean? I don't know. I don't know that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but like I said, we have to be able to own up. I, I'm i owning up. I, I That's all I can do for me. You get what I mean? The third thing. This is, this is another thing. I'm not monetized, y'all. So for everyone talking about, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking for clout. I'm about to get coins off of this. If you pay attention, there's no ads. I'm not monetized. So, you know, but again, so another thing. The YouTube trolls, <laughs> nobody warned me, okay? For everyone who, the YouTube trolls, that's y'all's job to so see the sabotage, to cause division, to try to attempt to make everyone's life a living hell. But it's not going to work. Um, Y'all are crazy. <laughs> but I, I, I'm talking to those who have common sense and those who know that, you know, there are times where we all fall short. I never professed to be perfect. I never talked about, um, I get it, I have, I get it all, I get it right all the time. I never talked about that. Um, so that's why, you know, I said, you know, I said what I said in my video and um the another thing i i did i i saw my 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 sister's 
uh, apology video and it broke my heart to see her cry. Um, I never want to hurt my family. Um, um, I don't fear man, okay? And I need you to listen to me very clearly. I don't fear man. I fear the Lord, meaning I honor him, which means I will honor him in my flaws, in my imperfections, in my uncertainty. I will honor the Lord. That's, that's, that's that. I will honor him with all of me. I actually had to repent a couple of weeks ago because I said, Lord, forgive me if I think that by you using me, because you know how we all want God to use us. Oh, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. But I said, Lord, forgive me for saying that or for even thinking that the only way you can use me is with a microphone in my hand and I'm on stage somewhere and it's lights and this and this. I said, God, now I want you to use me in my imperfections. I asked him, I said, Lord, keep me low. Keep me humble. Keep me down here. Because the moment I begin to exalt things over you, the moment I begin to put things above I don't want I'm not I'm not prideful. I I think that it is a crazy way to live. I forgive everyone. Um and I said, "Lord, even in my errors, I want you to get the glory because the Lord is then showing me what I need to work on." And it's unfortunate that it was for everyone to see, then so be it. Because guess what? I still love my sister. I still am going to live and serve God. And I'm still going to be who God has called me to be. I still love my family. This has been affecting a lot of people. And I can only hold me accountable for what I said, for what I did, for what the way I perceive things. In life, y'all, like... Life is crazy. It's full of ups, it's full of downs, but what says a lot about you is your um, your desire to keep going and to keep pressing and to keep trying. Um, there was, I was driving yesterday, I had to sing at a service and I was driving to my other service and I saw this runner and he was running with a weight in his hand. He's running and he's running and he's running. And he fell and I was like, oh, Oh my gosh. So instantly I said like seeing that man fall, I was like, "Oh my gosh." But he he had the weight, so he he rolled over on his back and he got up and he just kept running and he just kept going. So to everyone watching this, if there's ever a time in your life where you're just like I've been knocked down, but it's beauty in getting back up and, and and continuing to press on. For all of my believers and my followers of Jesus Christ, the Bible says we press towards the mark of the high calling. It doesn't say we skip, we run, we jump, we do cartwheels. It says we press, which means there's something always coming back at us that we have to, you know, we press. We're, we're pressing to do the right thing. And yeah so when life gets discouraging when things happen we're living in such an era where everything is just on social media so it gives so many people a voice and it can be hard to read some of these comments were very hard to read um but in your in the moment of my humility or in the moment of my prayer and asking the god and asking god to forgive me I was able to reflect and look back on myself and really understand that I'm growing just like everybody else. And um, the Lord is working with me. He's working on all of us if, if we allow him to. And um, yeah, so I don't really know which what to do next as far as like youtube and videos and all that stuff i don't know if i want to vlog i don't know if i want to eat i don't really not to sound you know harsh i don't really 
know if I want to eat because it gets expensive and sis is not monetized, okay? I'm in my office at work, so. Um, but in, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. If you guys can help me and give me some like video ideas of what y'all want to see. Um, I was going to delete this entire channel, to be honest with you. That's where my mind went, but I'm going to use this um so god can get the glory so you can see in your christian walk that no one's perfect and even though you may fall and you may make mistakes that the lord loves us anyway and he will continue to work in us until he is reflected you get what i mean so i feel great um i again i don't want you guys to bully i don't want this to turn into bullying um you know She's my sister she's my family she will always be my family right now emotions are high um and I'm, I'm hurt too but just pray pray that's the best thing that we can do in this life we could just pray for people if there's something that you don't understand if there's something that you need clarity on whatever it is just pray just pray okay i love you guys man just Continue to keep my family in your prayers. Um, there will be glory after this. That's a song. Um, I love y'all, man. And just, just keep us in, in your prayers. I'm sorry, I was reading the email at work, but I love you. I'm gonna end this video. Let me know below what you wanna see. Um, and that's it. I don't have anything else to say. I hope this answered a lot of you guys' questions. And um, that's it. All right.